What's up guys? Go ahead in here with another tutorial. Um, this is one for how to do like the floor crack in the net. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to head off and do this. Sorry, I had to, I thought I was going to burp them but I wasn't. But yeah, I've just got the same cinematic picture which is the one on resistance. It's a nice one because it's stone, stone cracks. But yeah, imagine I had something come down and smash it. So um, this is going to be really shit, but it's something. Okay, so we're going to have this black box come down and um, smash the floor. So I just had <laughs> that's just come down. I know it's coming down. Uh, Seriously? Oh, that's like one minute. There we go, eight seconds there. Yeah. yeah, it's way too fucking slow, isn't it? Um, we'll start from here. And we'll go down to here. And we'll do it in the space of one second. And we'll just take that off anyway. Bam. Yeah, there we go. That, that'll do. So, we've got something coming down. And we want to smash the floor. Now, this is another sort of way uh, oh, another sort of animation that you would need to blend into the actual scene and you're gonna need some um, some nice effects which you can get off video co-violet's action essentials pack which I've got loads of um, yeah so when something it comes down usually there's a bit of dust in that so um, let's just do the crack floor first uh, I got mine in here, there's these pictures of cracks, and I'll upload these and on the media file, and you can download them in that. So, which crack will look good? This one will do. Basically, what you want to do is bollocks. Now, I just gotta look through to see which one's good. That will look good. Um, yeah, if it comes up in this, you've got to scroll through each picture. I think that one's a good one. Layer, time, freeze frame, and then you've got that picture. But if I just scale that down. Um, and I can't remember what it was. I think it was color new no. soft light. It was hard light. I think it was. Here it is, hard light. Yeah. So say, where's it come down? Yeah. Say I want to smash this area. Um, you'll have something come down. And what I do is usually I just do that as in like a quick opacity so 0 to 100 something like that but then you'll see how you make it blend in as well um, so say I had a person come down it went boom and sort of like let's do this all together pre-compose that um, which will sort of group it what you want to do is you want to add a camera shake Expression, slider control, hit P, hold Alt on the keyboard, check the check stopwatch, go to wiggle, four, comma, pick whip the slider, close it, and where you want to come to the bit where it appears. So here it is. Just do slider there, go a few, um, 20. And then that will give you boom. That's shit. So the 4 is the speed of the shake, so I'm going to whack that up to 9, and I'm going to whack this up to 40. See how well this is. Uh, I'll be alright. So then I sort of come to here, set it to naught. so the slider goes from 0 to 40, boom, and it slowly comes about back to normal. Now to fix these black lines, you just want to go to Effect, Stylize Motion Tile, making sure you've got the pre-compose selected. Check mirror edges and just move them up to about uh, 120 or however more you need. Or if you still got some black lines, just scale up. That sort of makes it a bit more blending in. Shush now. Shut up. Fucking hell. Um, yeah, so once we've got that, it looks pretty shit now, but I'm just trying to think. I haven't done one of these in ages, but. 
I'll see what it turns out like. You want to go to some dust, uh, dirt charges. So I'll just choose this one. I don't know what this one's like, but you can look through all, your, all the ones you've got on that. Um, that'll do. You want to set it to screen. Mask out the bottom. Subtract. Feather slightly so it sort of fades, as you can see. If I zoom in. Whack on full. It sort of fades out. Because if I had this at naught, it'll just be cutting off, as you can see. So, yeah. And we want that to start as soon as the cracks appear. Maybe you just want to make it a bit bigger. Um, so, alright, so we want it to start whack oh, Bob. whacking up here. So, uh, there we go. So, let's see how, how this looks. Shut them all. Fucking hell. Don't forget, once you add color correction on that, look, it goes. So, yeah, sorry about the sound effects with my mouth, but yeah, you've got some dust. You've got the cracks. Let me just add some color correction in there. Just so you know you can see it come together. I'll just whack on the old team Taj one that I used to do. Ooh, look at that. Veneer. Off. Um, and like I did in the other tutorial, um, add on some nice black 16 to 9 aspect ratio sort of look. Oh, that's a bit too much, but um, I think. Eh. Oh, fuck it. That will do. Um, no, that won't do actually. What? Well, we will do that, but we'll just move the pre. We'll pre move this up a bit to about here, so you can still see the crack. And we'll just pre uh, pre render this. Don't forget, with your model, it's going to look a lot better. So yeah, it comes down, boom, it smashes. But if you're going to have like a 3D model smashed down on there, it will cover up most of this anyway, won't it? Because like your model will be over it. So that sort of looks like, I don't know, does that look like a cracked sort of? It does look cracked, I think. Obviously, you can um, edit this. If you really wanted to, you could um, change the color correction of the, the dirt, make it sort of more... Um, shit, where did you go for this? Uh, I, uh, yeah, I just uh, I never do this stuff really. It's more of a grey. So if we go to where is it brightness and uh, fuck it, it'll go bright brightness and contrast. Um, whack the contrast down. To, no, wrong thing. Sorry about this. So I'm gonna put that on the dirt charge. Here we go. Um, we can start making that. Ooh. You can only make it bigger. Oh look, fire! <laughs> um, but yeah, if you really want, you could sort of adjust the color if you really wanted to. If I go to curves, maybe. There we go. We can make it a bit darker, a bit lighter, and you can adjust your color if you wanted to. But I think that looks fine for the way it is. And that is basically concludes of. I mean, obviously, you can mask this out. If I just go to here, just do a little circle, check the mask path, go sort of forward to here. Uh, oh, come on, okay. Just make it bigger. Shove it in the center so the whole cracks are showing. And then if you um, you can preview that through, as you can see, the sort of the cracks come into it. Uh, maybe you could you can always just extend it if you wanted to. You don't want it too long though. And you can also feather it out a little bit. That is entirely up to you. You can play around with it. That I'm just improvising now. But if I just look through this. I think the camera shake, the dirt is 
as one of the main looks to making it crack. But, you know, it's all this is all self-taught, so you know I don't even know exactly what to do. Boom. It sort of looks all right. If you know what I mean. So there, that's how you do it. How to crack a floor on that. And that's the same with walls. I know there was somebody that said, I got one here, uh, smashed a wall, like it's wall smash and crack floor effect. These are sort of both rolled into one. Um, I'll just quickly show you what I've done. Take that out. Just take these out. Um, take the dirt tuck that out and we've got the ground here um, to make a wall like, like I did in my droids video how to make the wall smash like it's when I was smashing a person's head against the wall it gradually got more and more cracked um, I turned it down to the, opac the opacity to about I think about 30 I'm not saying it's something short like no 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 it wasn't that I think it was at 100 it was obviously a different you can use different cracks but I'm just going to use this one just for time keeping in it. I just used to duplicate them oh. and sort of move them around. Oh, bollocks. Excuse my language, I'm just going to take away this mask. Okay, so we've got this. Move it to about here. And imagine at the start of these is where his head's getting smashed. Obviously, you would line that up or whatever you're doing. Um. Obviously, you could like sort of. I don't know. I'm just improvising. It's not going to look good, but you could sort of scale it down, make it a bit more. Move it into position. Rotate it a bit smaller. Um, and you'll see after each point, it'll go smash, smash, smash. It was similar to that. And it it got smashed the more times um, his head was put on it. It was just lucky enough for me I used the right crack. You're just going to have to work through them and see which one looks best for you. So, yeah, I hope this tutorial has helped. Like and comment. I hope all these tutorials are helping. I know, like, you know, some people have said that they're helpful. I hope they are. Um, you know, everyone's got different opinions on them. So, I hope you all, you know, find good use for them make some nice videos and that from them. So yeah, sub if you haven't already and look out for the next tutorial. Peace.